DTE Energy is confirming to 7 Action News that a major underground power cable was cut by a construction crew three days before the massive June rain and massive sewer backups. Power that runs into this plant called the Frood Pumping Station and the allegation Great Lakes Water Authorities didn't know anything about it. It came up to at least about this high in, down in the basement. These are just some of her belongings that were ruined in that event back on June 26th. Take a look. This video shows water flowing from a street sewer backup into a basement staircase. The streets were flooded. Thousands of people have hundreds of millions in damage when the water came up through storm sewers, floor drains, toilets, because the pumps failed to prevent the backups. Now the allegation, the power cable cut, and the water authority didn't know about it before it was too late. I think they need to start at the top and work their way down, have some people in there that know what they are doing. Macomb County Public Works Director was the first to call for an outside independent investigation. Well, astounding might be one way to uh, categorize it, but uh, yes, it's rather incredible that that happened. DTE tells us the cable was cut by a third party contractor, that 400 feet of underground cable had to be replaced by the Detroit Lighting Department. That wasn't fixed until June the 30th. The only comment from Detroit, the mayor today. The report I saw from the Great Lakes Water Authority was the power was down for an hour. There was a time delay and we have been transparent with that, how we got two pumps online and then where we brought the third pump online. The timeline doesn't add up to you, does Again, it? Again, I, I want to see the report. I used to be a prosecutor. I learned that things you hear along the way often turn out not to be true later. That independent investigation could be started soon as outside contractors were interviewed this afternoon on this Zoom by the Great Lakes Water Authority Board. They have said in the past that the pumps inside these stations are too big to run off of generators. We wanted to interview someone with the Water Authority today. That didn't happen. On the east side of Detroit, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.